Good afternoon everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. Today I actually want to take you through a bit of a different video actually, um, so I do hope you enjoy it. If you don't, then uh, just please give it a thumbs up anyway, and then just wait for my next video. So today I'm actually going to be talking about how to become an entrepreneur. Um, you know, talk about the mindset, the actions you have to take, and a little bit about sharing as well. At the end of the video I'm going to give you, I think, I think four or five um, like three ways that you can start to make money today so you can start to generate a bit of income to help you out in the future um but please let me know what you think about this video in the comments section uh, sub, you know subscribe as soon as you can to you know see all my different videos i'm going to be doing in the future um this video is is something that i've been wanting to do a video like this for a while and i feel i've got the time now to be able to do it properly um so here we go let's just let's just go for it and see what you guys think. So the first thing we're going to talk about is mindset. So mindset is massively important. No entrepreneur or celebrity or artist or anyone is going to say to you that mindset is not important. There's a reason why they all say it, because it's true. First thing we're going to talk about is passion. So for example, if you asked me to start a company and the company was a restaurant or teaching people how to cook, then I'm not passionate about cooking, okay? I don't really cook, I'm not very good at it, and I, I just eat to be nourished, that, that's why I eat. Uh, I don't eat because I enjoy it. Um, I obviously enjoy eating, but not, you know, not like most people. So I would find no passion within that, that business. It would fail, I wouldn't spend enough time doing it, and there'd be no point, it'd be a waste of everyone's time. So you need to have passion for what you're doing. So. If you are passionate about something, you need to find a way to make money from it. And if you're truly passionate about it, you can sell your passion. You can bottle it up and you can sell it. <laughs> Not in that sense, but you can. So, like for example myself, I'm very passionate about entrepreneurship. I'm very passionate about teaching people, so doing YouTube is perfect for me. So I'm passionate about it, I spend a lot of time doing it, I love doing videos, so you have to do what you love. That is so important. The next thing you need to do is you need to guarantee your success by not doing the things that will guarantee your failure. So I'll say that again, it's a bit of a mouthful. You need to guarantee your success by not doing the things that will guarantee your failure. Now, what does this mean? This means being lazy. This means procrastinating, um, taking shortcuts. That, that's what this means. You need to make sure you don't do those things because if you do them, you're more likely to fail. So. Business isn't just about doing the best practices, it's also staying away from the worst practices. The next thing you're gonna do is visualize success. Now, this is different for everyone. I said in one of my, you know, my very first videos that by the end of this year, I wanna be able to have said I can earn 10,000 pounds a month, net, so probably about 15,000 pounds of revenue a month. That was my goal, I'm visualizing that every single day on how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna make that money. I want to be able to live in a nice house, I want to have nice cars, nice things, I want to have the time to be able to enjoy my life. So that's what success looks like, like for me. Success, success will be different for every single person, but you need to visualise it, think about it every single day, eat, sleep and drink that idea, and you know what, you're probably more likely to be successful than someone that isn't. In fact, you will be more likely to be successful than someone that isn't visualising their success. The second thing you need to do on that is goal setting. You need to make sure you set tangible, realistic, and timely goals. And we learn about this in school, like with smart goals, and you know they have to be specific, measurable, etc. This is no different. You need to be able to set goals because once you reach them, you'll have that great feeling, but also it gives you a kick up the ass to actually achieve. The last two things you're gonna do is you're gonna do the maths. So you need to figure out how you're gonna make 100,000 pounds. So for example, let's say you wanna make 100 grand, you could sell something that's $5, or you make $5 profit on something, sell a service that's $5, five pounds, five whatever, but you have to, do, you have to sell 20,000 of them. So 20,000 times five is 100,000. That's how you make 100,000 pounds. Or you could sell something that's 500 pounds, but you only have to sell 200 of them. Let's give Tanner J. Fox is an example with the Amazon Seller Mastery course. He launched that for $497. He 
He only had to sell 200 of them to make 100 grand. Do you know how many he's sold now? He sold over 3,000 of those courses. So he's made over $1.5 million. You see how the maths adds up. And actually, 200 doesn't sound that much. Better yet, if you can sell something that's $1,000, we can get $1,000 commission. Or a service where you can make $1,000. All you have to do is sell 100. Just 100 of those a year. Mind you, a year. There's a lot of time in a year. You will be a six-figure owner. Just think about that. Let's do the maps. And as Grant, Grant Cardone says, and if you don't know him, you need to go look at his YouTube channel directly after you've watched this video. He says, once you figure that out, you've got to find out, I'm going to do my impression here, you've got to figure out who's got my money. So once you've figured out who's got your money, you need to figure out what they want. So what does that person, that demographic want so that you can take their money and you can give them something in return? You can give them what they want in return. They've got to be you know, they've got to be um, willing to give that money to you. And that's how business works. That's what you need to do. You figure out who's got your money, how you're going to get it, what do they want. And that isn't easy, by the way. That is hard. You've got to figure out what they want. So that's your mindset. You've got to be passionate. You've got to guarantee your success by not doing the things that will guarantee your failure. You need to visualize and set goals. And then the last couple of things, you need to do the maths. And you need to find out who's got your money and how you're going to get it. Okay? The second thing we're looking at is action. So I've got notes down here, just to remember everything. First thing you need to do is investigate the business model. So you're passionate about playing guitar, right? So you need to make, make money from playing the guitar. How are you gonna do that? You need to find successful business models that already do the same thing and investigate how they make money, how they market, how they do everything. You're gonna take notes, you're gonna learn how they do it. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna replicate exactly what they do. Because you know what? It's working. If someone else is making money from it, and you can replicate it, then you'll make money. Simple as that. The third thing you're gonna do with that, taking action is you're gonna innovate. So yes, a copycat company, sometimes they work. However, if you innovate, you can create a really, truly successful company. So you're gonna make changes, you're gonna put your own spin on it, you're gonna put your own passion into it, your own thoughts and ideas, to innovate that idea and make it your own. And you're gonna keep innovating. Don't just sit on your laurels when you have a good business and it's doing well. Don't just think, you know what? I don't need to change it. I know everything. You need to constantly innovate, constantly change, pivot and be creative. The last thing is you need to be consistent. So there's some great examples. YouTube is a great example of this. If you post every single day, YouTube rewards you with more views, more suggested videos. Consistency pays. So if you're consistent in your business, gathering leads. Here's a good example. If you've ever worked in a sales role, you will know that you have to front load all of your data, you know, all of your customers, all of your potential leads. You've got to get as many as you can. You've got to keep topping it up because they, they slip through the funnel. Some buy, some don't. But if you don't do the lead sourcing first and you don't keep doing it, then at some point you'll be left with no leads, no potential clients. And then the business will dry up. You can't let that happen, so you have to stay consistent, whatever it is that you do. The last thing you're going to do is share. Now, this is where really successful business people get it right. This is where celebrities, this is where they get it right. This is where you go from being like a great entrepreneur to just an absolute phenomenon. This is, this is what makes the difference, and that's sharing. Sharing knowledge, sharing skills and sharing experiences. So share your knowledge with other people. There's no reason to keep hold of all of your knowledge. Some things like industry secrets, yeah, I understand you might not wanna give those away. But you wanna share as much knowledge as you, as you can, because Gary Vee says, you know, 99% of the people that you tell are not gonna take action on it. However, they're gonna appreciate the fact that you did tell them. It's gonna help you out in the long run. Next thing is skills, you need to share your skills. Shill sk uh, skill share. So if you say, for example, you know someone else that's very good at marketing, you're not very good at marketing, but you're very good at product development, then you can find out if that person that needs marketing, that is very good at marketing, needs help with product development. You can skill share, you can swap your skills, you can help each other out. Share your skills, it's very, very important. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna know everything at once. 
Hell, you're not going to know everything. Even once you've been doing it for 40 years, you're not going to know, know everything. So you need to share what you know. And people will share with you. If you notice, if you're any in the groups that I'm in, um, like the Amazon Seller Mastery, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, you know, Entrepreneur Entrepreneurs Group, the people that, that share information willingly are the people that are successful. The people that hold on to knowledge and their skills, they're people that aren't successful. People aren't as willing to share information with them. So always share. The last thing is your experiences. People learn from experiences. People like to hear experiences, so share them. If, if you have a YouTube, share the ups and the downs. Entrepreneurship isn't just all like daisies and sunny and all that sort of stuff. It's not, it's not the best thing ever. There are down days and you have to be able to pick yourself up and share those moments where you know, you're, you're struggling and you need help. But share those moments when you have a bloody wicked day because those are going to give inspiration to other people. So those are the three things. Mindset, action, share. Sharing. What I'm going to do is just write the bullet points in the description below. So if you want to take notes, you can really easily do that. So five things you can do, right? Five things for let's have a look. Now, five ways you can you can actually make money today or tomorrow or this week, whatever. Um, first thing you can do is sell things around the house, right? I've got a bunch of stuff around my house that I definitely do not need and can make money from. I know that if I was really strapped for money, I would sell that guitar right there. I would sell this Sonos speaker right here. Like that would get me a few hundred for the guitar, hundred for the Sonos. Um, I don't want to sell those things because I like them. But if you know, if I wanted to start a business and I needed a few hundred pounds, then I would sell those things. You know, you can buy them again in the future. They don't hold any sentimental value. I can get rid of them. Sell things around the house. What if you don't have things that you can sell? So this is the second thing you can do. Sell other people's stuff. So if you go to your sister or your mum or your dad or whatever, your girlfriend, boyfriend, they might have loads of stuff in their closet. They might have clothes. They might have you know junk. So you can offer to clean up all their stuff, sell it all, and then give them you know 50% of the profits. You keep 50%. So that means that you're not even selling your own stuff, but you're still making money. So that's... Okay. My gimbal just ran out of battery, which is quite annoying. So let me just take that off. Oh, I either ran out of battery or it broke, one of the two. Let's have a little look. Yes, it's our battery. Um, okay, cool, no problem. Doesn't matter. Um, third thing you can do is coming up to summer now, so you can mow lawns. Go around to your neighbors, like all their grass is growing. Ask if you can mow their lawn. This is great if you're young. If you're kind of like 16, 17, like, you know, that sort of age, summer's coming around the corner. Everyone's getting their A-level results soon. This is the perfect time to be able to start offering services to your community. I did exactly the same thing when I was about 14. I used to mow on my neighbor's lawn. They gave me 20 pounds for every time I, uh, I mowed their lawn, like once a week. That was wicked. Like 20 quid when you're like 14 is a lot of money. However, you can do that. If you do that once a day, then you can make, you can make easily 100 pounds more maybe a week. Just, you know, extra income. That could pay for something else. That could pay for you know, more books that you can buy to learn more. So, mowing lawns. Next thing you can do is retail arbitrage. So that is buying something like from a charity shop or from a discount store and then selling it on eBay or Amazon to make a profit. Really easy to do that. You can even go into the shops, you can scan the barcode and see exactly how much that product is selling for on Amazon or eBay. And if you can make like 10 quid profit after fees and stuff like that, buy it, sell it. Take the profit, buy something else, sell it. Keep doing that until you build up a lot of money. Last thing you can do, and I think this is quite a nice one, especially around summer, lots of people go on holiday over summer and they have cats or dogs. Um, if you have any animals and you've ever had to take them to a like a kennel or a cattery or whatever they're called, um, they are super expensive. And a lot of people don't want their animals being ca in cages all day. So you can make some flyers or put some things on Facebook and maybe a community a Facebook page to say that you can do cat sitting and dog sitting over the summer. So if someone goes away for a week or two, you can house sit their cats, make sure they're fed and watered and they're out and whatever. Uh, same with dogs or any animals really. And you can get paid for doing that. That is super easy, it doesn't even take that long. Yeah, I guess if it's dogs, you have to walk them and stuff. But do you know what? That's a good way to make money in the summer. And these are things that anyone could do. It doesn't matter if, like how old you are, 
uh, it doesn't matter the location I guess you have to have people in your in your immediate vicinity but these are ways you can make money so remember guys all about mindset taking action and then sharing what you've learned as well sharing your experiences take away those those um, those moments from today and really make a change do something about it the biggest thing that I attribute to my success although it's not massive right, I'm not claiming to be like some six-figure earner or anything like that I hopefully will be one day but I'm not claiming to be that now I'm not claiming to be an expert either what I have done though is I've taken action and I've been able to quit my job within two months of starting an online business not many people say that they can that they've done that and the reason I did it is because I took action I came back off a holiday which I you know I was thinking about how I can make money how I can go on to the next step in my life I took action on something and I committed to it 100% once you commit you will see results if you don't commit you'll, you'll never see the results so guys, I hope you have an amazing weekend. I've got videos lined up for you for the next couple of weeks. I'm doing a lot more work on Instagram. I really hope you're enjoying it. Um, but please reach out to me with questions. Make sure you subscribe to see all the content I'm going to be putting out in the future. And if you want help with any of the, like the affiliate marketing or Amazon or anything like that, then all you have to do is reach out to me. I'm going to give you a hat. For now, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.